Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most fascinating discoveries in human history, the world's first stone tools. Stone tools are any objects made by humans or their ancestors by chipping away pieces of stone. They are important because they show how our ancestors adapted to their environment, how they hunted and processed food, and how they communicated and cooperated with each other. You might think that stone tools were invented by the first members of our own genus, Homo, such as Homo habilis or Handyman. But what if I I told you that there are stone tools that are older than any homo fossils ever found, and that they were made by a different branch of our family tree. The oldest stone tools ever discovered were found in Kenya and date back to 3.3 million years ago, before the emergence of the homo genus. Let me show you how they were found and what they tell us about our ancient relatives. The discovery took place at a site called Longkwe 3, near Lake Turkana in Kenya. This is a region rich in fossils and archaeological sites, where many clues about human evolution have been uncovered. In 2011, a team of researchers was walking along the eroded slopes of the lake shore when they noticed some unusual rocks. They realized that these were not natural rocks, but stone tools that had been deliberately shaped by someone. The researchers found 149 tools, including sharp flakes, hammers, and anvils, some of which were very large. The flakes were used for cutting meat and plants, while the hammers and anvils were used for breaking bones and nuts. The tools were made from local volcanic rocks such as basalt and quartzite. But how old were these tools, and who made them? To answer these questions, the researchers used various methods to date the tools and the surrounding sediments. They analyzed the volcanic ash and minerals that covered the tools and found that they were 3.3 million years old. They also used paleomagnetic dating, which measures the changes in the Earth's magnetic field over time, to confirm this age. This means that these tools are 700,000 years older than any tools found before, even predating the earliest humans in the Homo genus. The previous oldest tools were the Oldowan tools from Tanzania, which date to about 2.6 million years ago. The Oldowan tools were more advanced and diverse than the Lonkwe 3 tools, showing how technology evolved over time. But if these tools were not made by Homo, then who made them, and what were they used for? To find out, the researchers looked for fossils of hominins, or human ancestors and relatives at the site. They did not find any homo fossils, but they did find two teeth belonging to Paranthropus, an extinct human cousin that had combined ape-like and human-like traits. Paranthropus was a robust hominin with a large jaw and teeth adapted for eating tough plant foods. It lived in Africa from about 2.7 to 1.2 million years ago, overlapping with some homo species. It was previously thought that Paranthropus was not capable of making or using stone tools, but these teeth suggest otherwise. Alternatively, it is possible that another other hominin species made and used the tools at Lonkwe 3. One candidate is Australopithecus afarensis, known for the famous fossil Lucy which was found in Ethiopia. Australopithecus afarensis lived from about 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago and had a mix of ape-like and human-like features. It was bipedal but also climbed trees. It was the only hominin known to exist in Kenya at the same time as the Lonkwe 3 tools. Whether it was Paranthropus or Australopithecus afarensis or another hominin that made the tools, what we do know is that they used them for processing food, such as meat, bones, nuts, and tubers. The tools allowed them to access new sources of nutrition and energy that were otherwise unavailable or difficult to obtain. The tools also helped them to survive in a changing environment that was becoming drier and more open. The discovery of the oldest stone tools is a significant breakthrough for paleoanthropology. It shows that stone tool making and use was not exclusive to the Homo genus, but was shared by other branches of our family tree. It also shows that our ancestors were more innovative and adaptable than previously thought, and that they had a complex social and cognitive life. However, there are still many questions and challenges for future research. For example, how did stone tool technology spread and evolve among different hominin species and regions? How did stone tool use affect the anatomy, behavior, and culture of early hominins? And how can we find more evidence of stone tool use in the fossil record? These are some of the questions that paleoanthropologists are trying to answer by studying the world's first stone tools and their makers. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about our ancient relatives. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this topic. Thank you for watching and see you next time.